Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, where I'm gonna show you how to create this multi-centric logo type. These multi-centric logos are current trend according to the logo launch. I provide you a link in the description so you can see the full trend report for 2017. And this particular logo was inspired by one of the logo launch brilliant example, Pentapolis logo. I'm going to create a Pentapolis logo design in my uh, upcoming tutorials. So stick with me, subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy this video, give a thumb up. Let's start our Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So now I am in the inside Adobe Illustrator new document and first of all I want to show my grid. So Ctrl Quote or Command Quote. Use Ctrl Shift Quote or Command Shift Quote on your Mac to snap to the grid or you can also go to the view and find these options here. If you have fallen alone you need to know my grid settings. So go to the Edit, Preferences, Guides and Grids. And here I set the grid line every 120 pixels and number of subdivision to 12. Uh, I set the number of subdivision to 12, so I have this cell 10 pixels, width and height. And in general options, I have uh, keyboard increment 0.5 pixels, it's very important. So do the necessary changes and click OK. And now we need to start build our design. Grab your ellipse tool or click L. Hit once on your keyboard to open the dialog box. Link between width and height and set the width and height to 320 pixels to create a perfect ellipse. Get rid of the fill, clicking on this slash. I want to leave one point black stroke and align to the artboard, both horizontally and vertically. Now that we have this ellipse, we need to create a bunch of smaller copies. In order to do that, we have two options. First option is the offset path. And here we need to offset to negative uh, 10 pixels, check preview, click OK. But it's not a repetitive option, so I can't use Ctrl D, Command D in order to uh, repeat this transformation. So I prefer to use my much, much simpler approach, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and simply snatch to the grid, resizing using Ctrl and holding Ctrl and Shift, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and snap to the grid, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. All of my copies is one cell smaller than my original file. And we need to create a 12 duplicates in order to achieve 12 sectors. So let me check our sectors. I want to Ctrl A to select all, grab my shape builder tool and count my sectors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we need to create another duplicate. So Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And this is my last one. I want to set the stroke to 0.5. I probably want to enlarge it a little bit more. So every mile, every line, every circle is visible. But uh, in uh, uh, when I create original uh, logo design, I use uh, the smallest stroke possibly. Uh, I use quarter of uh, pixels, uh, quarter of point. So we have this circles we need to grab shape builder tool and select every segment inside we have 12 segments then i want to grab uh, select all of them and group make a group next we need to create a duplicate uh, a copies of this group and uh, move them on this direction to the bottom left and on this direction to the bottom right. So in order to do that we need to go to move tool 
and I do the math for you. We need to move first copy to the distance of 200 pixels and uh, with angle of negative 55.58 uh, degrees. Check preview and click copy. And then select your original file, double click to open the uh, selection tool to open the move dialog box. And again, we need to set this volume to negative 115 pixels and 0.67. Click copy in order to produce another duplicate and then keep selected this, this last duplicate. I want to increase a little bit more and hit once right arrow key on your keyboard. But before you do the Z, make sure that you turn off your uh, snap to grip option and then using your keyboard increment move your last duplicate to the right. So we are now in the hardest part of our tutorial. We need to create a final result using shape builder tool. Uh, we need to have a lot of patience. So first of all, select all of your design and uh, activate your outline mode using Ctrl Y or Command Y. I'm gonna scale a little bit more. Grab my shape builder tool and start with the inner sector of my original uh, top. And I create the, this kind of swirl. So you guys, I think you guys get the point what we are going to do. So let me a little bit uh, speed up my tutorial. We need to create uh, six kind of swirls here. Then we need to do the same with our right and left uh, sectors. So I gonna grab uh, this, start with this inner sector of my right uh, circle and uh, move it like so, Crea create, uh, creating a swirl here. And now I want to combine my bottom left circles with my top ones. So guys, I end up with this result and we need to clean up a little bit our shapes. Getting rid of unnecessary elements. And we also need to hold Alt and delete this kind of triangle shape in uh, in the center of our uh, design. So we are done. I want to leave my outline mode and notice I have this kind of speckles. So first grab my uh, shape builder tool and delete 
this stuff then I want to go to my stroke and set the limit to 1 then don't leave your stroke uh, panel and set the round join and round cap I want to refine my shape a little bit more So we have our final shape, but it must be cleaned. And in order to do that, just go to your layer panel, open this group and delete all of these speckles, all of these strain points and all of these circles and leave only these swirls. Uh, then we need to select all and rotate it. So grab your rotate tool, click R, hit alt click on the center here and set the value of negative 5.4.5 uh, degrees, I'm sorry. I click OK and we are ended with this result. So guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day. Day.